Flynn Zito Capital Management. So that's a that's a pretty good November for you know the 401ks out there. Do you think this um, stock market rally has as legs as they say? Will it continue? Uh, it it looks you know it's funny the um, the 36,000 on the Dow. We went up 500 points today. Is a sort of a a line you want to look at to see if we can come through that. The next one would be 37,000. There's some key triggers. They, they relate to the S&P at 4,600 and 4,800. Those are some resistance levels. So yeah. we'll see if we can actually get above that. Um, you know, there, there, there are good things out there. I think, you know, the uh, inflation numbers and, and the general consensus. And a lot of the inflation caused a lot of the companies to charge more. And the charging more means that they have higher earnings than we thought because they charged more and they made more money. So whether or not that can continue next year, I'm not sure. So they're a little bit right. iffy on, on next Well, let's year. talk yeah. about inflation. We had that number out today. You're all, all over the numbers, which um, I don't know what happened with our wacky numbers that popped up there. But you're right. The Dow was up 520 points today. It wraps up a terrific uh, month. I inflation, the PCE deflators, they call it, that came out today. That's kind of the Fed's favorite, right, in signs of inflation. So where are we on, on all of that? Yeah, so the big difference for, for those, if you're listening to the CPI versus the PCE, is the CPI is really what things cost. Mm -hmm. And the reason why the Fed likes the PCE is because that's what people spend. And that's the key differential there. Um, but basically, they both came out the same way. So we're at the same three and a half-ish percentage inflation rate. That's come way down. We're on our way maybe to three and then lower. Okay. And, uh, and that's what we're banking on. And so that is why the markets are reading that and saying this is a good thing, inflation down, uh, and then maybe we get lower interest rates. I mean, some of the numbers I'm seeing from the market are saying an expectation of lowering interest rates by a full percentage point next year. <laughs> that's a, a bit much now for me, yeah. but uh, that's what it's saying right now. Yeah, it was, we were having a debate about how much they would keep hiking rates, and now it's only a matter of time until how much they... Uh, apparently cut rates by maybe a lot. Um, so it's an interesting environment. What about gas prices? Because oil today was a story because the OPEC plus countries came out with a, uh, a significant cut in, in, in production. What's the what's the impact on that, if anything, do you think? You know, OPEC just doesn't have the, you know, panache it used to have, if you will, mm -hmm. because, you know, the, the world and the U.S. are at all time highs of, of output. And um, China has lower demand because of their economy not being so well. So if you have a lot of output and lower demand, prices are coming down. So they're saying, hey, let's let's cut our output to maybe uh, raise prices. But this is voluntary. And I always think of like OPEC being like a five-year-old kid and you put in front of them a piece of chocolate or a $5 bill. And the piece of chocolate is here and now and the $5 bill is delayed. You know, which which one's the five year old going to go for? So I, I don't know how much compliance you're going to get with with uh, production cuts from mm. the OPEC members and how much of an impact it's really going to have. I was Thanks so much for watching. Just go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.